Um, well, I had the opportunity to go to the Men's Retreat a couple years back for the first time, um, and it was really good. Um, there were, uh, it was kind of a little overwhelming my first time, because I was younger, I was uh, 13 or 14, and um, packing eight services in the three days was a, a, a change for me, so, but um, the second time through this, this year was really good. I, uh, I loved being able to listen to Brother London um, speak four sermons, and just every time he got up to preach, it was like God was speaking just out of everybody's heart. Um, and uh, I remember the, uh, the, the final, one of his sermons, he, he spoke on forgiveness and how um, just about letting go and everything like that, and uh, it was kind of, it, it wasn't convicting so much as it was reminding because of uh, how much of that we talked about and went through and stuff with Truth and Peace over the summer. Um, and just everyone there have letting go of stuff and um, grudges they had kept and whatever. So um, it was really cool to see how God worked there because he said some of the very exact things that I had heard the summer before. And um, so, I mean, just every, every service, um, specifically the four of Brother London, uh, just little things that um, I have uh, in my specific notes and the app on my phone that I would write down, uh, type down things uh, that stuck out to me for whatever sermon. There were like three or four at least for every sermon. So, um, And then probably my favorite part both times we've gone is the Friday night testimony time we have in the room. Our um, dad gave a little uh, <coughs> devotion, and then we go around the room and uh, say, God bless whoever in the other room once we've given our testimony or whatever. So um, obviously... <laughs> Dad almost always uh, picks on me first, and so I was like the first one to go. Um, but it was it was really cool to see um, how uh, God worked, and you know, even experienced Christians like um, Brother Daryl and my dad, and um, but then also in how um, he was, you know, moving in new Christians like Seth or Flavio or Alex. Um, and that, that was what I really think is cool. Every time I can see, um, you know, where Flavio mentioned that chapter, I heard he spoke about it last week, where it was in the, the like, the first page of the bulletin, that Psalms that, um, you know, I spoke out to him, you know, months before, and then it popped up again. Um, just stuff like that it happening to new Christians. I was just, like, sitting there, like, smiling in my bunk. <laughs> Me and Luke are like, that's so cool. <laughs> that that Psalm just popping back up, um, you know. God doesn't have to use um, somebody that's been, you know, saved since they were six or, you know, somebody that's, you know, the past year come to know him, you know, can use someone like that. So, Mentor Tree was a big blessing this year, and for anybody that didn't get to go this year, I would definitely suggest, you know, you get on the van with us next year and go. Um, so, yeah, it was a, it was a big blessing.